What's up peeps and welcome back to Israel Plays. Really quick video, birdie video for you today. Um, I'm just sharing my experiences and whatever knowledge I have um, of looking after canaries um, as I sort of go through it. And I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that there wasn't a lot of information out there for new bird owners and um, it's quite difficult to really know what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong and whatever else so i'm out in the garden it's a lovely day today um it's september now so we are in the uk rearing towards the end of our summer basically i mean it's done well this year we've got quite a lot of uh, sun more than we expect normally so as the weather's lovely today you know what i wanted to say was take every opportunity you can especially before the winter sets in to bring your birds outside into the sun um at first i mean i heard a lot of stuff about not putting your birds in direct sunlight and all the rest of it but they do need unfiltered sunlight to thrive um, this will help with their vitamin levels making sure they get the their body processes their calcium vitamin d um, and everything else that comes with it it's very good for their skin to get some sunlight on the skin and you'll see that when you take them outside and don't cover them with anything, you put them in direct sunlight for a, a little while. If it's not too strong, right now it's not too strong. It's about 22 degrees today. Um, hence why I'm wearing this and not a t-shirt. But for them, they need the sun. They absolutely need it. And this is so, it's imperative that you get them out into the sun without any cloths or covers on top of them. Hopefully you can see me well here using my selfie stick today. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my setup for the birds. They are on the table again out here. I find that the safest way to do it. Um, and what I'll do is monitor them while they're out in the garden, make sure that no cats or whatever else, big birds come down to try and attack them. And equally, we have some sounds of cars and stuff out here as well. And I like to see how they're going to react to that. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I've done and just talk you through it. Very simple, but just want to help um, especially the new owners out there or people who just read stuff online but not sure what to do I mean people say don't put them in direct sunlight but I have to disagree with that of course too much direct sunlight and very hot sunlight is bad for them but if you set up your cages in a way where they get a shady part in the cage and a sunny part in the cage as well to make sure that they can sit in the shade if they want and they can sit in the sun if they want also provide a bath and spray them as well with some warm water you don't want sudden cold water on them so i'm going to turn the camera around and just show you what i've done this is the setup outside just on the table under an umbrella um, the umbrella helps because if there's big birds and stuff or any other birds flying above they're not going to be startled by it and constantly looking up and not actually being able to enjoy themselves out here I'm going to try and get a little bit closer with my selfie stick. Hopefully that's not going to scare them. They're getting a little bit used to the camera. Hi, Lemon. We've got Lemon. Hello, Kiki. Kiki is looking so much better. I'll touch wood when I say that. Um, if you've seen my previous video where she was puffy, she was molting really badly. And they do say don't move them around when they're molting, but I would say it's an exception to move them out into the sun even while they are molting especially towards the end of their molt where they're a little bit more relaxed it's just their heads and their eyes molting now hi snoop hey gorgeous so this is what i've got i mean the sun's disappeared at the moment so they're not getting constant sun anyway so i've taken the covers off but um if they do get the constant sun do put a cover on top. Do keep monitoring them if you leave them outside anyway. Very important to do that. So I kind of do it when I've got a little bit of time to be outside. And even if I don't, I make time because they're my babies. So you can see I've got the uh, platforms on with seeds on. We are starting to um, open their cages uh, inside the house so they can get out when they want. Lemon attempted and he did go on the platform. Kiki and Snoop weren't too interested. I think they were a little bit tired. So we are going to do it at the weekend in the morning. Now that school started again, um, we're getting back to normal life and we don't have a lot of time in the morning. So that's it. That is 
my take on how important it is for the kids to get some sun, just like it is for humans, the baby canaries, adult canaries, any type of bird. I mean, they live in the wild, they live outside. If they were in the right country, they would be in the wild. Unfortunately, in the UK, they wouldn't survive out in the wild as it will get very cold during the winter. We hope you found that useful. Just bear it in mind, they do need the vitamin D you get from the sun. We all need that. Um, of course, if you can give them some supplements on top of that, but make sure not to overdose because there is such a thing as overdosing on vitamin D. Just my bit of advice there that I didn't find out there and I kind of worked out for myself and I did read a few things to realize how important it is for them, especially with the winter months coming out, get them outside as much as you can, do get them in direct sun, but not for long periods of time and with a little bit of shade if they need to go and you know, rest in the shade as well and do spray them as well. I spray them with this little garden sprayer with just um, a little bit of warm water in there. You can put a little bit of um, cider vinegar in there if they're itchy as well and that will help to keep the mites out, the parasites. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped and see you on the next video. Peace out.